check the owl. Spiky needles, plums. One of the things that I will do to make sure that I am actually eating or makes it easier to make sure that I'm eating is snack boards for the kids. So when I'm cutting things up and everything, I just keep a plate on the side and just toss over the things that I want to eat onto this, make some extras. So then that way I actually, even if it's not a full meal, I'm making sure that I at least have a snack throughout the day because I'm not good about making sure that I'm fed. Um, I feel like it's a problem a lot of moms go with. It's definitely something I struggle with. So got this for the kids, have this for Judah so he can stay in the high chair and not have to share with everyone. And then that's mine. I'm gonna add some more in a bit, but wanted to show this before the kids inhale everything. All right, it is 4.45, the sun just set, so I wanted to sit down and have a minute to be able to chat for a second before I lose all of my daylight. Today has been a slow day and it has been a meaningful slow day. This has been a mama mental day because I can't really put my finger on it. I haven't been able to figure out like the root problem and everything, but I've been in a funk for a bit and I feel like it's because we just have different things coming at us from left and right over the past few weeks and things that we're adjusting with and adapting to in our home. And there's been a lot going on and we need a severe pivot. And so I'm not prepared to take on all of that right now. I knew that my first step for being able to prepare to do what's next is to just have a mental check. And for me, that was taking things slow, doing our Christmas lessons this morning, and then I put on a tutorial for us to do some watercolor painting today, and that was absolutely amazing. We took like an hour plus to just sit down and we read books and we dove into the painting and we just hung out at the table and chatted and it was just super fun to be able to connect with my kids in such a meaningful way over something as simple as watercolor paints. And the entire day has kind of just been that, super chill, super relaxing, and not stressful in any way. The only thing that I will admit that has been overwhelming is the fact that I ran out of laundry detergent and my shipment was supposed to get here today and it hasn't arrived. And so now I just have like my laundry just keeps getting bigger and bigger. So it is the absolute monster in the closet that I am ignoring right now until I get my stuff. But that's the real big thing that I've definitely neglected, but trying to just push past it for another day until I can get that tackled. But with that said, everything else has been super relaxed. We've all been super chill. We're just trying to take it easy and slow and just one day at a time. So today is a mental health day. I hung out with the kids, we did everything. And then for this evening, I just have a lot of things that I wanna do that are a little bit more like intentional mama self-care type of activities and stuff. And so I'll share a little bit of that with you. Now, with that, there's a lot of things that I recognize that I need to do and I can't share all of that, um, but really it's just a matter of reprioritizing. There's a lot of things that I have allowed to take over in my life and I need to kind of have like, not a full like clean slate, but kind of like sift things through and filter and realign. And so that's what I'm wanting to do. But before I can start taking care of any of those things and realigning anything, I need to be able to just have a day to slow down and woo software a bit before I can you know, change anything, or before I should make any changes, I need to have a clear mind and a rested body. And so that's what we're doing.
Now what I think I'm going to use tonight is my detox. So I'm thinking I might just get a bowl or something from downstairs, fill it up with warm water, put some of this in there, and then just sit for a bit, use my dry brush, and then shower and get ready for bed. Okay, so here's the lineup. I've got this for face wash. I have this for an oil that I'll put on my face before I use the gua sha. This I'll use after I shower and everything. I'll put this mainly on my hands. It's really hydrating because it's nice and like thick. I'll do a foot soak. This is just cuticle oil. So I'll dry brush before we get in the shower. Use that afterwards, probably with the jojoba oil. This is for my nails. And we'll do a soak at some point. That's for my face, all of that stuff, and I think that's it. I just want something nice and chill. Grab a book, relax, and then pass out. Look at how cute this is. Just the mold that it's printed in. All you gotta do is like put it in your hands and kind of warm it up a little bit. It probably takes like a solid minute to kind of break it down and warm it up, but then the residue that you have on your hands is just enough that you need to kind of rub it into whatever you need it for. If you not too much, literally just for oily in my face for this. I always start on one side, kind of work my way up and go around. I'm not entirely sure if that's the right way to do it, but it's the way I've been doing it. So if you're a pro and have tips, definitely let me know. But I've just been trying to start and get in this routine and everything with all of it to keep it consistent. So I just know that you're supposed to do like 10 to 15 passes and then make sure that you're bringing it down to let it drain as well. So we're gonna do that now. All right, it is 9.30. I am done. I am complete with my skincare, self-care, all of that stuff. Now I'm gonna go make some popcorn. I'm gonna put on a few um, different videos to have kind of in the background. Normally YouTube is kind of my go-to if I have videos that I haven't watched this week. And so I'll have that kind of going in the background while I edit. Once I'm done editing and uploading and everything, uh, then I will probably just wrap everything up and get in bed. So it's late enough. I don't know what we're doing in the morning, but I'd like to get out of the house because it's been such a crazy week that I think all of us need a little bit of a break from our four walls. So thanks for hanging out with me tonight, for having a mental day with me, and I'll check back in with you guys tomorrow.